Hello, hello. Welcome to today's Monkey Mind Movie Meditation. My name's Angie and my pronouns are she or they. And I do these movie meditations as a way or another tool for us to be able to receive the benefits of meditation, uh, especially when we're not able to sit or when we want something different, when we want to just kind of move, when our bodies are having a hard time with sitting. And the monkey mind is a term for our brain or for the part of our brain that is just like a monkey. It's always screaming, always yelling, throwing things. And so giving it something to do, like some movement, can actually really help to focus that monkey mind to settle it down so that we can tap into that mind-body connection to receive the benefits of meditation. So let's get going. Today's meditation can be done standing or seated, whatever is most comfortable for you. So if you're standing, bring your feet to oh, a comfortable distance apart and maybe explore what does a comfortable distance mean for you. Maybe you want a little bit closer together. And if you're seated, pull any fleshy bits out so you can really shift it out side to side, pressing your feet into the ground, pressing your sitting bones into the chair. And then whatever variation you're doing, maybe start to add a gentle sway to your body. And maybe notice, does your body like side to side, front to back? Do you wanna make circles? But just start to explore, what movement does your body want? And maybe you don't know, so maybe add some different ones in. My body's kind of liking this um, infinity figure eight type movement right now. And as you're doing that, I'm going to stand. I've got a lot of energy right now. And as you're doing whatever movement your body wants to do, maybe just start looking around your space, noticing what's in there with you. My dog is lying on the floor right up here next to me. So that is definitely drawing my attention. So see if there's something that can draw your attention back when your mind starts to wander. And then just continuing to warm the body up. Maybe you want to add some shoulder rolls in there. And maybe explore what does it feel like to lift one shoulder and then the other. And then maybe explore going the opposite direction. Now before we go too much further into our meditation, just make sure that you do what is most comfortable in your body. Anything I say today, it's truly just a suggestion. So go with what feels best to you, even if it's something totally different than what I'm cueing. And then along those lines, if you have any pain, definitely stop, ease back, reach out to a healthcare provider or a movement coach, just to make sure that your body is safe for movement and that you're moving within the safety or safely within what your body um, wants and can do. So our meditation today is designed up a quote from Rumi and Rumi says, stop acting so small. You are the universe in ecstatic motion. Stop acting so small. You are the universe in ecstatic motion. And I've been thinking a lot about how a lot of times I feel like I just am so small. I'm either physically feeling very weak or small, or I just feel like, who am I? I'm one person, I can't really make a change. And so I thought Rumi's quote was quite appropriate today, to stop acting so small and to tap into the energy of this ecstatic universe. So starting to maybe add some bigger movement, think about what your body would be like if you were out floating in the cosmos, out just big, as wide as the universe. So whatever motions that means for you, make it as big as you want, take up as much space. So the universe just takes up space. And then curl up into a ball or curl up into however your representation of being small would be. And notice, maybe start to explore, what does that feel like? For me, it starts to create a lot of fear and anxiety. And then opening up, spreading out into the ecstatic, the motion of the ecstatic universe, I love that. So make yourself as big as you want. 
And notice what that brings up. That also brings up some anxiety for me, making myself as big as I want. And then exploring, just kind of rotating through some of these motions. What would it be to be small? How would you represent small? And then we're representing big, tapping into letting the energy of the universe come through you, how big it is. So I like to imagine myself as a little star or a little atom out floating in the universe. I would just be floating along, chilling. And make this as big or maybe you want a little more energy to come out. So you want it to be bigger. Maybe get a leg going. Maybe get your hips. And then come back to what would represent small for you. Noticing how the body feels as you come through both of those. Ecstatic motion. So don't feel like you have to be based on a beat or a rhythm. It can just be whatever you want. You are just floating along in that universe. And then come down to what would represent small for you. And moving through this, maybe at your own pace, maybe you want to move a little bit faster. Just be floating out, being just kind of wild energy out in the universe. You have tons of space. You get to take up as much as you want. Maybe you want to try stomping your legs down. And then come back to what would represent small for you. For me, it's definitely hugging in my knees and my chest. And then come back to being big out wide in the universe taking up space, moving, however feels good to you. I'm kind of like in this sway side to side. Seated, same thing, maybe add some legs in. Get whatever motion feels good to you. And then come back into tucking in to what represents small. Noticing how that feels. For me, my shoulders hunch in, my neck tends to come and crunch down. And then coming into being into this energy in the universe. You get to move however you want. My dog clearly does not like the ecstatic energy. So maybe add some bigger movements, maybe some hip twists, maybe just get some shakes. And then when you're ready, come back into what represents small for you. Physically curling in creates a lot more tension in my body. Although being wide and free flowing also creates some anxiety. It ends up feeling better. So explore, like how does it feel now to be more open, making as big a movements as you want versus coming into feeling small. And then flowing through this a few more, finding some motions, whatever feels good. Maybe you don't even know what feels good. I'm kind of like in this kicking right now. So rotating the legs out if you want. And then represent small. If you want more activation, maybe come down. Maybe put your hands over your head. Maybe curl up. And then when you're ready, coming up to whatever your ecstatic motion is. Finding just this expansiveness, this ability to be out in the universe. Just one little atom floating along, getting to take up as much space as you want. And then when you're ready, rounding down once again, maybe hands over the head. Maybe that doesn't feel good. Maybe hugging in. And check in, notice how you're feeling. Maybe adding that sway, being curled or small is very hard for me. So then when you're ready, come back. Notice, explore, maybe where do you feel it? Can you feel it in your feet? What do your feet feel like? What do your hips feel like? Maybe your shoulders, maybe you wanna add your hands in there. So maybe getting your gooey hands all in that universe. Getting the hands in the motion. And the shoulders, rolling it out. Take up as much space, so maybe bring your arms out in front of you. 
just taking up space. And then when you're ready, tuck back into that sense of being small. Doing this maybe a couple more times each way. So come back into the energy of the universe. I love the word ecstatic. Just meaning you get to be whatever you want, crazy, silly. Maybe wiggle it out, shake your neck. If that's comfortable, shake your jaw. If this is uncomfortable, definitely ease back, find movements that do feel good to you. But in the chair, keep the lift of the torso. Maybe running the feet. Take up as much space as you want. And then come back to this sense of being small. Maybe tucking your legs in. And then when you're ready, one last one. Finding this big movement. See if you can take up space. Take up the energy of the universe. Maybe adding some legs in there. Maybe getting the hips shaking out. It doesn't have to be based on any rhythm. There's no, nothing that says you have to do it any particular way. So try movements in your body, even if they feel weird or uncomfortable. And then rounding it out. One last one. So maybe one more breath if you're moving with the breath. And then when you're ready, come back to your representation of being small, whatever that is for you. And then add that gentle sway in. Notice, maybe check in. How does your body feel? My body doesn't want to be in that small hunched up position. So mine definitely wants to stand straight. Maybe explore, bring your arms down by your side and then shake it out. Maybe shifting your hips side to side, checking in. And then arms, maybe shoulders rolling up and down and back, neck shaking out, maybe shake your jaw if you want. And then standing in your feet or sitting in the seat, lengthening up through the torso, check in. Maybe palms coming forward. Notice how your body feels. Maybe explore if it feels interesting, that difference now between feeling like curling into something small versus this wide open spaciousness. Maybe that felt really uncomfortable to you and that's totally fine. Whatever it is, shake it out. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Studies have been done that show that shaking out tension can actually really relieve stress, tension, trauma that we have stored in our muscles. So shake it out. Beautiful. And then come back to a comfortable stance, either feet whatever distance apart, or if you're seated, finding your feet pressing into the ground, sitting bones out, everybody lengthening up through the torso, but rolling the shoulders up and down and back. Taking your right hand, flexing it at the wrist, coming into the center of the chest in half prayer, right elbow out, left hand, all four fingers and thumb together. And then as dramatically as you want, give yourself a high five, hands coming into prayer. Thank your amazing body for the wonderful work that it does for you. If it's comfortable bringing the base of your thumbs up to that point between your two eyes to your third eye, and thank your amazing mind for letting you explore the difference between feeling small and feeling spacious or expansive and ecstatic. And then hands coming back to heart center, bowing down. The light and dark in me, season honors the light and dark in all of you. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Beautiful job. Let me know. Definitely drop me a line in the comments. Let me know how that felt. Let me know if that was weird and uncomfortable or if that felt good. And then if you like these videos, please like and share. 
Um, and then follow me on social media on Facebook and YouTube. My page is AB Yoga Info. The info separates me from abdominal yoga workouts. And on Instagram, it's AB underscore yoga underscore info. And then I have created a Facebook group that's all about using movement to release stress, anxiety, depression, PTSD. Um, and it's called Moving to Release Stress, Anxiety, Depression, and PTSD. So come on over, check it out, where we explore lots of movements and how it impacts our nervous systems. So I hope you have a lovely day, everybody, and I will see you later. Bye.